Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's math channel. I'm now answering question number one from the specimen paper of the Pure Mathematics P3 exam from Cambridge um, International A-Level. And this is from the 9709 syllabus. So this is the specimen paper that they brought out when they had made some modifications to the specification. And um, so this came out before the first exam. So I'm going to go through this paper. Now, this paper is basically one hour, 50 minutes long. Okay, there's about 10, 10, 11 questions on here. Okay, it tells you here. Does it tell you how many questions there are? No. Nope. Anyway, so you, you need to uh, make sure that you uh, work pretty quickly for this paper. Now, um, you know, these, these papers, you have to be well drilled beforehand before you go in the exam. Make sure you understand the topics that you've done a lot of practice before. And that, uh, you know, um, most questions you'll be able to s have experienced the patterns you need to use and the techniques you need to use before you get to the exam. So make sure before you actually get to the exam, you've done lots of practice. Now, I'm not going to be using these videos um, really about exam technique. Okay, um, the, the amount of time I take doing the questions will not be the same as the amount of time that you should take. I'm going to take a lot longer in some cases because I'm using this um, going through this paper as a teaching tool to explain topics to students who might have some issues with some of the basics sometimes and um, you know addressing some of the questions and doubts that I have um, you know seen from students as I've taught them so you know sometimes I might answer a particular question with a particular question uh, that a student or doubt that a student has in my mind about it so I might explain or elaborate further in that particular part of it so don't think that I'm just going to be, you know, just reading through the mark scheme or anything like that or, or giving you an example of how long it should take you to the question. That's not the point of these videos. The point of these videos is to be able to teach the, you know, the basic concepts of these questions to students so that they understand them better. And then when you do your own independent practice and stuff, you should, you know, try to do them at a bit, you know, faster speed, of course. So I'm going to start. Also, I'm not going to go through the whole paper in one video i'm going to go through each question in a separate video saving it in the playlist for the paper and also saving it in the playlist for the topic sometimes a question might have part a and part b as two separate videos if they're two separate topics like some might question one might be a might be to do with integration b might be to with differentiation so on so i would then save them as two separate videos so i can save them under the two separate topics as well as saving them as uh, you know, in, in the same playlist for the particular paper that they come from. So I'm going to start then going through this paper. So please keep these things in mind. Don't think I'm going to be just a talking mask scheme. Think, oh, why is he going on so much about this question or showing you different ways? I'm trying to help students understand um, how to, you know, um, you know, become confident in these topics. Um, so that's my that's what I have in my mind when I'm doing these questions. So if you just want to see the mark scheme or something, this might not be the right place for you. Okay, so question number one. Here we have to find the set of values of x for which the inequality 3 times in brackets 2 to the power of 3x plus 1 is less than 8. Give your answer in a simplified exact form. So we, that means we're going to have to keep in our mind that we're not asked to give a, like, um, a decimal answer. We have to give a answer, um, which is in terms of, in, it's going to be, as we'll see, in terms of logarithms, because this is an exponential equation. Now, the type of exponential equations that you're used to prior to P3 are the types, for example, if I just modify this a little bit, okay, you would be used to something like this, okay, in which case this number can become something expressed as this base to the power of something. So I could I could express this as 2 to the power of 3x plus 1 is less than 2 to the power of 3. Okay, I could express it like that and I could continue. All right, that's something that we could do. Okay, and we could deal with it. But in this case, because you have this 3 here, you cannot do the same thing. 3 cannot be expressed as 2 to the power of something. So we cannot express this in that same way. Okay, now the way that I would do this question, I'm going to show you multiple different ways of answering this question, by the way. But um, I think the simplest way of answering this question would be to do the following. And 
because it says in a simplified exact form, it doesn't tell you what form to put it in. They didn't say like in terms of log to the base two or in terms of log to the base 10 or in terms of lin. They didn't tell you or specify any particular, you know, base for you to give the answer to. So in that case, what I would do here is after I would, I mean, there's a couple of things I could do first, but the simplest, simplest way would be to divide both sides by three first, I think. Okay, now dividing by three is no problem. You have to be careful when you've got an inequality because when you divide an inequality by a number, if it's not a positive, if it's a negative number, the inequality sign must change direction. In this case, we're dividing by three, there's no problem. Okay, so just be careful about that. Um, and then what I would do next is because the number to which the x is trapped as a power of um, is 2, I would take log to the base 2 of both sides. Okay, now I'm going to write this step out, which most people wouldn't do in an exam because it's not really necessary for you to write it. But just so you understand, if I take log to the base 2 of this side of the equation, then of course I must, or this inequality, I must take log to the base 2 on the other side as well. So this is log to the base 2 of 8 over 3. So I'm taking log to the base 2 of this side and log to the base 2 of that side. I can take log to the base of any number I wish to. I can take log to the base e, which is lin. I can take log to the base 10. I can take log to the base 257, which is any random number if I want. And in the end, my x will have the same value. Okay. Why did I take log to the base 2? Well, because this number to which the x is trapped as a power in is 2. And what happens next, you see, is going to be, I can use the power law for logarithms, which is 3x plus 1 times um, log to the base 2 of 2. Now, we know that log to the base of something of itself is equal to 1. Sorry, that's an inequality sign. Is less than log to the base 2 of 8 over 3. Okay, so I know that log to the base 2 of 2 is 1, and that will just going to become 1. So we're left with 3x plus 1 is less than log to the base 2 of 8 over 3. Now what I can do is I can then solve this. Now, what you could do in the exam is you can go straight from this step to this step. We don't have to write any of this stuff down here. Because when you take log to the base 2, then you end up with 3x plus 1. It's like taking the log to the base 2 is the inverse of the, the, the log to the base 2 is the inverse of 2 to the power of something. Okay, so if you take log to the base 2 of this, then they cancel each other out. You're left with 3x plus 1. You can think of it like that. We can think of it like the using we're using the power law. Okay, now if you don't understand the power law, if you have an issue with that, then you can go to one of the uh, videos I have made where I go through the basics of logarithms before I answer a particular question and I will put the link for that up this is eight minutes into the video I'll put the link for that up over here a card should appear okay if if I don't manage to do that then at the end of the video you'll see or well, you'll see a link in the description to that particular video which goes through the uh, basics of logarithms you if you have an issue so far with what I've done with the power law and this is what I'm talking about it might be a good idea for you to go to that video first, watch it, learn the basics of logarithms, and then come back, and uh, hopefully you'll understand what's going on. So now we can go on. So as I said, these two lines you don't really need to write down. I'm just doing I'm just doing them for explanation purposes. Now we need to find what x is. So what we can just basically rearrange this. We can subtract one from both sides. So you have three x is less than log to the base two of 8 over 3 minus 1 and then we can divide both sides by 3 so we have x is less than now again dividing by 3 is no problem because it is a um, that's 3 yeah it is basically a positive number just making sure that I didn't mess up there so you're gonna have one third log to the base 2 of 8 over 3 minus one third Okay, we can leave it like that. That's perfectly fine. Okay, we can put all of this over 3 if you want to. If you want, we could have written it like this. Log to the base 2 of 8 over 3 minus 1 all over 3. That's fine as well. That's perfectly good for you to leave your answer in that form. So that's one method, and that's one answer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that it doesn't matter which 
um, form we put answer in as long as it's, you know something to do with logarithms. So I'm going to show you how. Well, we're going to find out the, the numerical value of this, the decimal value of this, so we can compare it with the other methods I show you, and we can compare the answer. We need to log to the base two, log to the base two of eight over three and minus one all over three. That gives us zero point. I'll write it on the side here so we can compare. We don't write the decimal for this particular question because they said exact, but I'm gonna write it here. Zero point, I'll write it to four decimal places. 0 0.1383, 0 0.1383. I'm just writing it here so we can compare our answers. But really this would be our final answer for this question. That's one form we could write it in. Now there's multiple forms that we could write it in. The mark scheme, they use lin. So I'll show you how we can use lin for this. All right, so this is this is method number one. This is this is the method that I would use. I think this is the easiest method, but you could also use um, alternative methods. So let's let's try to use the method with lin. So we have uh, three times in brackets two to the power of three x plus one is less than eight. Just to make sure that was the right question. Yeah, so. What we could do here is we could do a very similar thing. We could say 2 to the power of 3x plus 1 is less than 8 over 3. And then we can take the lin of both sides. All right. So in this case, we'll have the lin of 2 to the power of 3x plus 1. Lin basically just means log to the base of the natural number. Okay. So log to the base of the natural number. Okay. That's what the, the lin means. E is a number, a constant, 2.8 something, which, um, you know, can go through in other videos but it basically means log to the base of the natural number and on this side we're going to take lin of both of, of this side also so we have something like this then we can use the power law again so we have 3x plus 1 times the lin sorry times times the lin of 2 sorry yes is less than the lin of 8 over 3 and then we can simplify this in a very similar way we can divide both sides by lin 2 so we have 3x plus 1 is less than the lin of 8 over 3 divided by lin of 2 and then we have 3x is less than the lin of 8 over 3 divided by lin of 2 minus 1 subtract 1 from both sides and then finally we can do, divide by 3 so you have x is less than again dividing by 3 is no problem because it's positive uh, and we have an inequality sign divided by 3 times lin 2 minus a third we could write this as lin 8 if you want to on here underneath that's fine as well we could leave it like this both of them are fine so we end up with this as our answer and we can see hopefully that this is exactly the same thing so instead of using log to the base 2 i'll use lin so i'll have lin of 8 over 3 divided by 3 lin 2 3 lin 2 which is the same as lin 8 minus a third and that gives us you see the same exact value 0 0.1383 for same exact value so this is also a correct answer it's also a correct answer that's the second method i'm also going to show you a couple of other methods where we try to simplify this first so i could write this for example as three times and then i can think of the power law. I mean, I wouldn't myself answer the question this way, but this comes in useful later on when we're solving other types of exponential equations. Like I could write this as, I know that a to the power of m um, plus n is the same as a to the power of m times a to the power of m by the laws of indices. So if I consider this like, you know, in this way here, then I could write this as 2 to the power of 3x times 2 to the power of 1. That's the same as this because when you multiply the numbers at the same base you add the power so this you could say initially would have been that okay uh, is less than eight so this is like three times this times this so it's going to be six times two to the power of three x is less than eight so I, I can then say two to the power of three x is less than eight over six so two to the power of three x is less than four over three and then i could even if i wanted to make it even simpler i can say this is like 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x so I can write this as 8 to the power of x is less than 4 over 3 and then I can take the, the, the lin of both sides I can take log to the base 8 of both sides 
Okay, let's take log to the base eight of the both sides. I would like to take log to the base eight of both sides. Why? Because that will get rid of this. If I take log to the base eight of this side, that will become x is less than log to the base eight of four over three. Okay, and that's the answer. Okay, that's you know, and let's see if we get the same same. Uh, this looks in fact a lot simpler. So let's see if we get the same answer. Log to the base eight of four over three. It's exactly the same answer that we got before. Okay, just to confirm. Okay. It's exactly the same answer. In fact, this looks even simpler, right? But there's a lot of extra work initially simplifying it. So it might not be a simpler answer. A uh, simpler method, but the answer looks a lot simpler. All right, so you could do it this way. We could also take lin if you want to. We could say this will be um, lin of 8 to the power of x is less than lin of 4 over 3. So we have x times lin 8 to the power of x is less than lin of 4 over 3. So x is equal to, sorry, if we use the power law there. The x goes down so x is equal to the lin of 4 over 3 divided by the lin of 8 and we can see hopefully that that gives us the same answer so we can say lin lin of 4 over 3 divided by the lin of 8 and again we get exactly the same answer so there's lots of different ways less than lots of different ways for us to solve such questions okay lots of different ways not just one way okay so you know this is one way we did it using log to the base 2 we could use lin we could use log to the base 10 there's multiple ways this question is very open and it didn't really give us a particular way for us to express our answer so all of those different methods i've shown you should be absolutely fine Okay, so um, I could go on and show you other ways, but there's not, not any need, hopefully. So as I said, if you had an issue with indices and uh, logarithms, you can go to the description below and you can click on the link for the logarithms basics um, you know, video um, where I've gone through some question um, on logarithms. But before I started, I went through the basics of logarithms because it's something which a lot of students find alien. Right when they first see what it was, this you know new thing here, and a lot of students do some weird, uh, you know, mathematical nonsense type of operations using logarithms because they don't understand what they are. Okay, so anyway, other questions from this particular paper you can find in the playlist that will appear in this section of the video at the end of the video. Other questions from the topic of logarithms from Pure Mathematics three of. Cambridge can be found in the playlist that will appear in this section over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and you can, I will put also the indices, uh, sorry, the logarithms video here as well, a link to that over here where you can watch the video, basics of logarithms um, from that. Um, I hope that was clear. Thank you for watching and see you soon.